This colony has gone laying worker. It has 10 frames that are nothing but um, honey and drones. They have almost no wax. I'm sorry, they have almost no pollen. Uh, and the cells that have eggs are, have multiple, multiple eggs. They're not providing resources to the larvae that are in there. And so the larvae are dying and shriveling in the cell. So I'm going to have to go ahead and shake them out. There are some different theories, but in all practicality, you either do a newspaper combine or you shake them out. I don't see what these bees have to contribute to a colony. So I'm going to shake them out. But then that leaves the question of what do I do with the box and the comb? So given this opportunity, I'm going to try to do what I call a front to back split. Put one box in front of the other and provide enough comb, uh, resources, eggs to the to both colonies so that the one that has the queen is fine. The one that doesn't have a queen will requeen. I'm now going to uh, talk about the second kind of uh, fall split that you can perform that will also should result in uh, queen rearing. So we have this, which is they requeened not too long ago. They look pretty strong to me. Um, with syrup, they're drawing white wax and uh, September. This is the box I just shook out, so I don't need to be as delicate as I was before because there's no bees in here. So I'll just take the frames out uh, and leave in here what I think they'll need, and then the uh, the rest will I'll take from from this box, from the donor box, to the receiving recipient box. So let's go ahead and get started. My first step is going to be to take my recipient box and pretty much only leave behind what I think. So this is empty comb. It's just a little bit of brood comb with honey on top. Same thing more. So I'm going to call these two food. This is of a decent weight. More of the same. This is really good food. There's no pollen in here. None whatsoever. If I have time today, I'll make pollen patties. Otherwise, they should start, they should find their own source. So I'm going to try to put the queen in here. Because there is less food, I obviously want the more food to be with the um, where they're making a new queen because that they need a lot of food. Okay, so that's six. So I'm gonna put four out of here. You could do like a five by five or a five by five split, but I'm just gonna take four out of here 
including the queen, and put her here. So let me go ahead and find the queen. So this is Emerging Brood with the Queen. Now all I need to do is make sure there are eggs young and young larvae and plenty of Emerging Brood. Uh, I'll put in some frames from the other colony, from the shakeout, and we'll be done. Emerging Brood, so it stays. This has eggs. Eggs, eggs galore, this one will stay. So the population of this hive is actually a lot smaller than I remember it being. A lot smaller population than even just a couple weeks ago. So we'll, we're just gonna have to see. This may not be the best candidate for a split, but there are plenty of like plenty of eggs and larvae in here so to be honest uh, I think I'm gonna leave a frame empty in here and if I find uh, some emerging brood in another colony I'll just bring it over here and stick it in here so these are eggs also okay so it looks like the queen shut down and she's building back up I don't see a lot of pollen so again I, I'm probably gonna need to feed them with a pollen patty Okay, so that's food. Fresh wax. Fresh wax. They drew all this out in the uh, in the summer. Amazing. Okay. Okay, so this is our our recipient colony, and they only have three or four frames of bees right now, so it's pretty small for a a 10 frame box. I could put a in frame feeder, take it down to eight, or put them in a nuke if I, if I had extra nukes. So this, only, this technique only works when you've got pollen. Pollen right now is tenuous, so I'm gonna supplement them. And it only works when you have warm enough weather. The weather's plenty warm enough. This doesn't work so well if you have cold at night or if you're in the middle of a dearth. They just won't make it. Um, I'm still a little up in the air as to how these folks will do, how these bees will do. But um, if I see that they're not faring well, um, I can take brood from other, uh, take emerging brood from other colonies. I can shake bees in. There's a lot I can do to bolster them. This one has a queen. She'll start right up just immediately. This one has a lot of eggs, a lot of larvae, so they may have a little bit of a dip, but they should start right up also. Uh, they may need a little more babying. This is the least good split option and queen rearing option out of all three we're gonna discuss in this series. But I don't have anywhere to store this comb right now and the wax moths are out in force. I don't wanna lose these 10 frames. So worst case scenario, I have to recombine them with the newspaper. I'm okay with that, but we'll check on them next week and see how they're doing. This colony, like I said, has got an okay number of bees, but all of the forage, foraging bees that leave from the donor hive are gonna come here. Um, and any um, brood, I, I, extra brood I find in another uh, box I'll, I'll put over here. So. I think they should be okay. They may be a little bit stressed for a little bit, but I quite frankly doubt it. They're not gonna be so stressed that they won't make a new queen, and I think she'll be a high quality queen too because the genetics of this hive are really, really good. This is, uh, Mildly chlorinated one-to-one -one sucrose solution. I'm going to put five liters on here. Probably a little too much for them, but it's chlorinated, so it won't go bad. They'll draw it down eventually.
All right, on to the next.